You are watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to the third episode of Overanalyzing. And like the previous two episodes, this one is again about Red Dwarf, even though, like I said, I don't intend for this to be solely about Red Dwarf. The idea for this episode actually came to me through a comment someone left asked what I thought about Kachansky not getting resurrected with the rest of the crew. Because as we know, the Kachansky that was with them on Starbug was from the other universe, so logically the nanobot should have brought back the original Kachansky. And although I did respond to this with the comment, I decided it was worth a video on its own as well. This is the Kachansky Conundrum. I'm going to assume everyone watching this has at least heard of Red Dwarf, but I will give a little bit of a brief breakdown of how Christine Kachansky plays a role throughout the series. The one consistent element to Christine Kachansky is she is always the love interest of the main character, David Lister. Other elements of her character are inconsistent, so it's hard to give a solid biography of her. But in the first episode of Red Dwarf, she died with the rest of the crew in the radiation leak, presumably. And then in the second season, they encounter a future version of Kachansky in Stasis Leak. Then in Sirens, they see a Kachansky hallucination. And finally, in season 7, she joins up with the crew and becomes a main part of the cast from another dimension. As I just mentioned, the Kachansky that joins the cast in season 7 is from another dimension where she survived and Dave did not. Then fast forward to season 8, where the entire crew of Red Dwarf is brought back to life by Crichton's nanobots, with the exception of Kachansky. The Kachansky with the main crew on board the Starbug was from another dimension, so why didn't the nanobots bring her back? Well, that's what I'm going to attempt to answer with this. I have three theories, which I think are fairly solid, and a possible fourth that's a bit eh. Let's start with what I like to call the Stasis Leak Theory. When the crew goes back in time in Stasis Leak, they see Kachansky has married a future version of Lister. This, however, never happens in the main series after this point. They never see this happen, and it's never mentioned again. Maybe there's a reason for that. Perhaps the Kachansky in Stasis Leak is the original Kachansky, but maybe the Lister that's with her is from another dimension, meaning she married a different Lister without even realizing it, and she survived with him. Which would also explain why Stasis Leak never happened to the main Lister, because the alternative universe Lister is actually the one who ended up with the original Kachansky. The second theory, I think, is the easiest to explain. When the nanobots were convinced to rebuild Red Dwarf by Crichton, Kachansky was with them, so they saw Kachansky there. So maybe because they saw that Kachansky was already alive, they decided not to resurrect the original Kachansky in favor of just keeping the one alive. This theory may not be as fun as some of the other theories, but it is definitely the most logical. Now for my third theory, which I call the Sirens Theory, and this is the darkest of the three theories. So as I previously mentioned, in the episode Sirens, they encounter a hallucination of Kachansky saying that she's going to kill herself and Dave's two sons with her. She explains that she survived with an extra stasis pod, and that she stole Dave's sperm and created two sons from it with herself, Jim and Bexley. Now, because they determined this is just a hallucination of the sirens to bring them down to the asteroid, they let it be. But what if, by some weird chance, this was not a hallucination, and this was in fact the original Kachansky having survived and had the two kids? And because of that, assuming she was a hallucination, they left her to die with the two kids. That's why the sirens theory, I think, is probably the darkest of the three main theories I had. Now let's move on to a theory that kind of makes sense, but also raises further questions, so I don't really acknowledge it as much. This is the funeral theory. On the Series 1 DVD, there's a deleted scene where Dave flushes Kachansky's ashes out into space as part of a funeral. Perhaps that's why she wasn't on board Red Dwarf to be resurrected with the rest of the crew. But the, re the reason I don't think this theory really holds any ground is because he flushes everyone else's ashes out into space as well. So logically, no one should have been resurrected if this scene was canon. Another somewhat stupid theory, but one that would still make sense, is that perhaps Series 8 and Up take place in a different universe than Series 1 through 7. And another kind of, uh, kind of far-reaching theory is that perhaps sometime between the events of Arabarus and Nanarchy, they went back and got the original Kachansky and, pu and put the other one back in her original dimension. Again, that one isn't really one that I can see a lot of evidence for, but it is theoretically possible as well. One last kind of questionable theory is perhaps Kachansky actually was resurrected with the rest of the crew, but for whatever reason, the captain and the officers were somehow unaware of it. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense since Kachansky herself was an officer, but anyway, this has been the Kachansky Conundrum. I'm Fugitive Red Eye, and you have a great rest of the day. See you next time. Subscribe to Fugitive Red Eye.